Lauren Courtney, Master Energy Healer and Spiritual Coach, back with your weekly live. We are here for the Fear to Freedom Live, and we are just gonna wait for people to log in before we dive into today's healing experience, whatever that may be. Hello, hello, hi, hello everyone. We are just logging in. So it'll take a minute, two minutes, three minutes to let people log in and join this experience today. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Christy. Hi, Nina. Hey, Jen. Hi, Nikki. Okay. Hello, everyone. Happy new moon. Today is the new moon in Leo. So we are in this new energy, this new energy of creation. We're in a very creative portal right now. I know I am feeling it deeply. My desk is currently covered in different creative projects that I'm starting to work on and nurturing and giving love to right now. Maybe you are feeling in that same space. So let's kind of start there right let's start there with today's fear to freedom call today's fear to freedom healing experience what is it that maybe you have been wanting to create wanting to do and maybe you haven't done i've been bold in taking steps to shine my light beautiful thank you gypsy medium start the gypsy medium check her out i don't know i don't know the gypsy medium yet but i will um so where have you been afraid to take steps? Okay, for some of you, this message, it's still very line for me as well, is number four, horse and travel. Have you been holding yourself back from going places? This could be physically, this could also be internally, like within meditation, have you been holding yourself back from traveling the inner self? is actually what I'm feeling more called to as opposed to traveling outwardly. Have you been feeling fear to get to know yourself on a deeper level? Just like by, by a show of hands, hearts, whatever it may be, have you had that fear of getting to know yourself on a deeper level? Because, okay, 100%, because here's the thing, when we get to know ourselves on a deeper level, things change. We can no longer unsee the things we've seen when we start to know ourselves on a deeper level. Things will shift, friends will shift, careers will shift, relationships with family will shift when you start to really get to know yourself. Because let me tell you, people are benefiting from you not being in your full authentic self and not being in your full authentic truth because they benefit by not having to do it either. The more you don't shine your light, the more I don't have to shine my light. The more I shine my light, the more you have to be willing to turn yours on or walk away. So I, I say that as, as both like a blessing and a warning. It's, it, it's truly that. It's a blessing and a warning. When you are fully expressing yourself and in your truth, you are going to offend a lot of fucking people. You're also going to shine a light for the people you are meant to shine a light for. Um, and fully artistically expressing. Um, love that. Great. I'm glad that resonated. Let's pull a card a planned card to see if there's any message that wants to come through as we kind of just solidify this healing. Hello, Julie. Hello, Kelly. Oh, look at this. We've got the timing card. Oh, I love this. Julie, hang out here for a minute if you can, because um, I know this message is for you and I know this is for multiples of you, including myself. And I'm sitting down and leaning back because we're going to talk about this. We are going to talk about this. And on the bottom of the deck, I just looked right now is also rest, timing and rest, timing and rest. So these truly go hand in hand right now. We have been in a space and we're, we're always in some level of space of trusting our timing. Can we trust the timing of life? Can we really fucking lean in, in the discomfort and trust that everything will work out as we truly desire? Can we rest knowing that it's all going to work out? Can we rest knowing that it's all going to work out? Knowing that we have the strength to move forward when we're guided to. 
can we relax, rest, and trust the timing? Because I can tell you for one, I have had projects I have had for years that I wanted to do. I wanted, I wanted this dog for years, but it wasn't the right time. We as humans think that we can decide, that we can just decide, okay, you know what, the timing's right. That's actually fear. When we get into our fear, that's when we decide I have to launch this now, I've gotta do this now, I've gotta do this now, I've gotta do this now, when all you need to do, pardon my friends, is shut the fuck up and rest. And know that you will be guided when it is time that you will have rested to have the strength for that next thing. So if you are in a place where maybe you worked on a creative project for a while, I know I have. I've been working on a creative project for the last year. And I've recently kind of let go even more. Like, okay, I did what I was guided to do. And now I'm going to rest and trust the timing that the person I need to take this to the next place is going to show up when the time is right. And all I need to do is rest to continue to build my strength, to have the energy to be able to move into that next thing. Um, so true indeed, so hard for me to do. <laughs> and so fucking true, right? And that's what we're here for, right? We're here in this moment to release some of that fear, to give more to God, that's the best way I can explain it, to give more over to God and say, hey, I trust your timing. I trust your timing. I trust your timing. I trust your timing. Did you, are you happy you ripped your toy? I trust your timing. Can we just trust? Can you trust more? So let's, let's focus on that today. Let's focus on that. That feels like the energy that really wants to come through. So if you want to close your eyes for a moment, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, go ahead and close your eyes. If you're watching this back later, no need to worry. You are still going to receive all of the energy that is about to come pouring through. So go ahead with your eyes closed. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Letting go of anything and everything that happened before this moment. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. With this next deep breath in, fill yourself with the energy of trust. And as you exhale, releasing any fear. Inhale, trust. And exhale, fear. One more time, inhale, trust. And exhale, fear. Now often, when we feel this fear, when we feel we can't truly trust, truly lean into source, it's because we're having an imbalance in our root chakra. So we don't feel safe, we don't feel secure. So let's balance your root right now in this moment. I want you to visualize white light being poured into your hip bones. Feel that white light entering through the front of your hips, into the bones, into the sockets, into the joints, into the tissues and the nerves, and feel that white light as it enters your hip. Begin to spread down your light. white light almost begins to feel like veins and these veins are similar to the veins you see in the roots of trees and this light continues to pour down through your legs
into your knees, freeing up any blockages from moving forward. Feel that white light spread through the front of your kneecaps and the back, draining your lymphatic system. You feel the light continue down into your calves and shins. Feel it in your ankles. Down into the soles of your feet and your toes. And out into the earth, anchoring you. And from this anchored space, Feel the light move through you. Feel all of the blocks from moving forward move through your body, from your hips and down into the earth, letting it all go, letting it all out. back to your eyes in the space and you'll see my, my dog jumped on my lap to join us because he loves Reiki <laughs> he loves the energy hi Jess hello thank you yeah he is a cutie and that right like Dogs, humans, we all get in that space of disconnection, of feeling fear, feeling scared, not knowing what to do next. So today on this new moon, I want to invite you. What is that thing that you've been wanting to do? And I'm going to share something with you guys that I'm going to do. But I'm going to ask you, what is it that you've been wanting to do? Maybe it's something you've done before and you miss and your soul is calling you back to it. What is that for you on this new moon? I want you to go ahead and claim it. Drop it in the chat. Leave a comment. Let us cheer you on. If you're watching this now, if you're watching this later, comment. Let me know. I'm here to hold space for you, to cheer you on do the damn thing, whatever it is. For me, I've been owning my witchcraft, and I've been owning my, my magician. I, I actually kind of forgot that I am a magician. And even though I tattooed it to my finger over five years ago, I kind of forgot that part of me because it wasn't the part I was playing in. And I've recently been guided to play in that again. So I have been for myself. And tonight I was guided that when I do my own new moon ritual, I'm gonna create a special oil blend. And I went ahead and bought 10 bottles to also create 10 roller balls for whoever feels that those are for them. And I'll share them when I'm ready to share them after I create them. So if you, and if you feel you want one of those, let me know, send me a DM so I can reserve it for you. 
So the point is, right, like I've done that before. It's something I'm returning to. It's magic that I'm re-owning for myself because it simply feels good and it lights me up. So what is it that you are claiming? What is it that you are creating? Thank you for making such a cute cameo, Biggie. Um, and drop it in the chat. Drop it in the chat, let me know. And if you're, if you're nervous to drop it in the chat, even more of a reason. I'm gonna pull um, one more card from a specific deck that I'm looking for that I don't see right here. Where is it? 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 I know where it is. Got it. We are going to pull a postcard from Spirit to just solidify this energy here today. And you guys, if you didn't know, I am posting daily card readings right now on, on that other social media app. So you're welcome to check those out. Today's card was all about abundance. So I definitely recommend checking out those readings every day. In the meantime, I've got some other stuff in the pipeline. So stay tuned. I'll be doing a collaboration between energy healing and um, human design with another wonderful woman in this space. You can check out her Instagram. It's verde, V-E-R-D-E dot design, I believe is what it is. Um, that is coming in the fall. I'm also gonna have a freebie coming out in the next week or two for some root chakra magic. So also stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, I shall leave you with one last message. Dearest you, we have a secret to share with you. If you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you're brave and you will have courage. Act as if you're loved and you will be a magnet for love and experience the love of spirit. Act as if your prayers have been answered as if, they are, as if you are truly in sync with good fortune. How you think is how you will see the world. Interact with it and the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours. You need to start acting as if that were the truth. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or cavernous, chaotic or barren. These are temporary and don't even count. Defy them and act as if you are the luckiest person on the planet. You will be, for you already are. That's the real secret. You are infinite potential. So remember that you are infinite potential. As one of my mentors and friends, Cassandra Bobzak says, your words are your wands. So use them wisely. Your words cast spells, right? Spells, spelling. Your words cast spells. So think about that. Be mindful of your words. Be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of your spells. I wish you all the most wonderful new moon. Thank you for tuning in to this Fear to Freedom Live. I hope that you received something that you needed here today. If you feel called to watch back, go ahead and watch it back. And as always, send me a message. Let me know how it served you. I really am enjoying getting to connect with each and every one of you here live again. Um, oh, Julie State, I love you. Um, I am just loving connecting with you all live again. It really fills up my soul. Um, and just a reminder, for those of you here watching this now, watching this later, remember, even when it feels like a desert, even when it may feel like you are alone, know that you are resilient and know that there is always an oasis ahead. And that oasis, it will last forever. I promise you that. I love you. Have a beautiful day.